good morning all of you in today's lecture we are going to talk about another interesting animal which belong to phylum hemichordata and its name is balenoglossus you know earlier we thought that this animal belong to phylum chordata but later we found it's not a chordate rather it's a non chordate which is very close to a chinodermata that is why this animal it has removed from chordata it has been separated from chordata and included among non chordates as an independent phylum hemichordata so balenoglossus is a hemichordate hemichordate means it has some characters of chordates and some of non chordates and since it carries characters of both chordates and non chordates so it is also a connecting link and that is why we are calling it its phylum name is hemichordata okay now first of all let's talk about significance of its name when we talk about common names of balenoglossus balenoglossus is commonly named as tongue worm and there is one more name we also call it acorn worm so tongue worm and acorn worm these are two other names for balenoglossus so now why do we call it we call it acorn worm because its shape resemble a corn nut see the shape of its collar and proboscis its collar and proboscis together resemble the shape of a corn nut a corn is the nut of oak it is a fruit of oak tree since its proboscis and collar resemble a corn nut that is why common name is a corn worm now we also call it tongue worm even the term balenoglossus बलेनोग्लॉसस का ही अगर हम मीनिंग देखें तो ग्लॉसा मतलब टंग तो इसको टंग वर्म बोलते हैं वाई इट इज़ कॉल्ड टंग वर्म बिकॉज इट्स प्रोबोसिस एंड कॉलर दे रिजेंबल लाइक एन इमेजिनरी टंग प्रोजेक्टिंग आउट ऑफ शेल ऑफ बेलनस बेलनस इज अ क्रस्टेशियन सो इसका जो प्रोबोसिस और कॉलर है वो एक इमेजिनरी टंग की तरह लगता है जो बेलनस की शेल शेल से बाहर आ रही है क्योंकि इसका प्रोबोसिस और कॉलर एक इमेजिनरी टंग को जो बेलनस की शेल से प्रोट्रूड कर रहा है रिजेंबल करता है तभी इसका नाम हमने रखा है बेलेनोग्लॉसस बेलेनो मीन्स फ्रॉम द बेलनस व्हिच इज़ अ क्रस्टेशियन और ग्लॉसस मीन्स टंग सो इट्स कॉमन नेम्स आर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ओके ए कॉन क्योंकि इसका प्रोबोसिस और कॉलर रिजेंबल द शेप ऑफ ए नट एंड टंग वर्म बिकॉज इट्स प्रोबोसिस एंड कॉलर रिजेंबल अ टंग कमिंग आउट ऑफ बेलनस शेल दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड टंग वर्म सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस एनिमल लेट मी टेल यू कि दिस एनिमल इज समवर्ड स्पेशल नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन विल टॉक अबाउट इट्स हैबिटैट हैबिट एंड मोरफोलॉजी सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद मोरफोलॉजी यू शुड नो वट इज द हैबिटैट लेट मी टेल यू इट इज अट इज अ मरीन एनिमल वी कॉल इट एक्सक्लूसिवली मरीन एनिमल क्योंकि ये सिर्फ और सिर्फ सी वाटर में मिलता है इफ आई से द हैबिट्स इट्स अ बरोइंग एनिमल इट मेक्स अ बरो इन सैंड और मड द बरो इज यूजली यू शेप्ड मैं आगे आपको बरो की पिक्चर दिखाऊंगी इट्स बरो हैज टू ओपनिंग्स एंड अ थर्ड डिप्रेशन विच इज कॉल्ड एज फीडिंग फनल जस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द फ्रंट ओपनिंग ओके तो इसके बरो में दो ओपनिंग्स हैं और एक फीडिंग फनल है वो जो फीडिंग फनल है वो इसको फीड करने में फूड को जो है एब्जॉर्ब करने में ग्रास्प करने में क्या करती है हेल्प करती है जो बरो का हाइंड ओपनिंग है इट इज़ क्लोज बाय फीकल मैटर ओके सो एनिमल हैज बरोइंग हैबिट इट मेक्स अ बरो इन सैंड और मड बरो इज यू शेप्ड विथ टू ओपनिंग एंड थर्ड फीडिंग फनल इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट जस्ट क्लोज टू द फ्रंट ओपनिंग ऑफ बरो लेट मी टेल यू इट्स बरो इज मेड अप ऑफ सैंड ग्रेन्स which are cemented together by a sticky mucus produced by its epidermal glands okay another thing it is a plankton feeder agar feeding habit ki baat kare to ye plankton feeder hai it feeds on plankton and organic debris okay it it is it moves with the help of cilia which are present all over the body moreover it is unisexual sexes are separate but it show external fertilization there is a free swimming larva which occur in the life history of this worm we call it tornaria larva and due to larval stage the development is said to be indirect it has very good power of regeneration okay so this these are the habits 
Now see this picture. Morphology shown. Balanoglossus has elongated cylindrical worm-like body. Let me tell you, it has a very soft skin and covered by shiny mucus. It has cilia all over the body surface, but cilia are more prominent on proboscis. See, body ke teen part aapko nazar aare hai, anterior proboscis, middle collar and posterior part trunk. So, it is divided into proboscis, collar and trunk. Very interesting feature, the body is brightly colored. I showed you in very first slide. And you know, its body emits a characteristic unpleasant smell. The smell of Belenoglossus resembles that, that, that of uh, iodoform. This smell is iodoform. I have told you body is in the proboscis, collar, and silom. Proboscis, let me tell you, body body's interior is It is short and conical, and it has a thick muscular wall. Proboscis enclose a cavity called proboscis silom. Okay, and proboscis silom open to outside by an aperture called proboscis pore present near the base. Okay, another important thing the posterior part of proboscis it is called neck or proboscis stalk. Okay, which is joined with collar. Then, second part is collar, collar is short middle part. Let me tell you that collar overlap proboscis stalk. Its anterior part that surround proboscis stalk or neck, we are calling it collaret. Collar also carries the silome and the silome is called collar silome. Collar silome open to outside by a collar pores which are present at the posterior end of collar into the first pair of gill pouches. Okay. Then collar contain a wide mouth just below the proboscis stalk and mouth remain open most of the time. Then see last part is trunk. Trunk is the posterior most part. It has three regions, brachiogenital region, middle hepatic region and posterior abdominal region. Brachiogenital region as the name indicate it contain gills and gonads. Branchial means gills, genital means gonads. It contain gills and gonads that is why it is called brachiogenital region. Okay. The branchial region contain rows of gill pores or branchial aperture. And you know that number of gill pores increases as the animal grows. Genital regions, I told you, it contain gonads. Since this region contain gonads, that is why we are calling it the genital regions. Okay. In some species, these genital regions, they are very much prominent and we call them genital wings. So, branchiogenital region is the anterior region containing gills and gonads. Then come hepatic region. It contain hepatic CK. See, there are transverse fold on the upper side of hepatic region. These are called hepatic CK. Hepatic CK have digestive role. Then come abdominal region. Abdominal region is also called intestinal region. It is long or cylindrical hai and it opens to outside by a terminal anus. So, this is morphology, proboscis, collar and trunk. Proboscis is also called totostome. Collar is also called mesosome and trunk is also called metasome. Now the silom, I told you, is ke puri body mein cavity hai. The cavity is called silom, lekin silom three parts mein divided hai. That is why it is called trisilomate animal. Just like a kinodermata, aapko yaad rakhna hai, balenoglossus also has enterocele. Enterocele means the silom arising from elementary canal in the form of pouches. Just see, silom ke teen part hai, proboscis silom, collar silom and trunk silom. Proboscis silom is also called protoseal. Then, collar silom is also called mesoseal. And trunk silom is also called metaseal. Abhi maine aapko bataya, proboscis silom open to outside by a pore called proboscis pore present in mid dorsal region. Okay. Collar silom. I told you these are the paired cavities present in collar region. They open to outside by mesoseal ducts. Okay. They open to outside by the ducts. Ducts are called mesoseal ducts which communicate with exterior. And then come trunk silom. Trunk silom is called metaseal. It is also paired but they do not open out. Okay. So three parts of silom, proboscis, collar and trunk silom. Entire silom is filled with silomic fluid which contain amoeboid silomocytes. 
और सिलोमे कॉपसल्स प्रेजेंट इन इट गॉट इट तो लेट मी टेल यू सिलोम इज समवर्ड स्पेशल इन बलेनोग्लॉसिस डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स दैट इज व्हाई इट इज सेड टू बी ट्राई सिलोमेट एनिमल द थ्री पार्ट्स ऑफ सिलोम वन पार्ट इन प्रोबोसिस द अनपेयर्ड कैविटी अ पेयर ऑफ कैविटीज इन कॉलर एंड अ पेयर ऑफ कैविटीज इन ट्रंक रीजन वॉट इट नाउ आफ्टर दैट बॉडी वॉल नाउ बॉडी वॉल और स्किन ऑफ बलेनोग्लॉसिस इट इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ वेरियस लेयर्स यू कैन सी इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ एपिडर्मिस just below epidermis there is nervous layer then basement membrane and musculature it is not covered by cuticle and that is why body of balenoglossus is very soft okay it is very soft and fragile and even we we are not able to collect the larger specimens in, intact while handling they easily break down as body is very soft due to absence of cuticle so the outermost layer you can see the column like cell make up epidermis these are epidermis consist of tall narrow column like cells which contains cilia all over the surface cells also bear microvilli aapko ek baat bata dun epidermis mein do tarike ke cells aapko milenge gland cells and sensory cells and gland epidermal cells are further of three types you can see one is goblet gland cell second is reticulated gland cell and third is mulberry or glandular gland cell goblet gland cells they secrete large amount of mucus okay so they produce granular material and large amount of mucus and moreover their secretion also produce a chemical that contain bromine compounds and due to those compound it provide a strong odor to acorn worm moreover secretion of gland uh, goblet gland cell also protect balenoglossus from infections then there is mulberry or glandular gland cells they secrete amylase enzyme okay and reticulated gland cells they have a network inside them and they secrete mucus all over the body surface so epidermis has goblet gland cell secreting mucus and a chemical that provides smell to worm and then mulberry gland cell or glandular gland cell that secrete um, amylase they have thick granules inside them and then come reticulated gland cells which have a network and they also produce mucus all over the body okay so there are three types of cells which come under gland cells of epidermis then i told you it also contains sensory cells let me tell you sensory cells they are mainly present in proboscis and collar region of body after epidermis you can see second layer is nervous layer nervous layer is made up of nerve cells and nerve cells form a thick network in body wall then there is basement membrane which provides support to epidermis musculature the fourth layer musculature made up of smooth muscles musculature consist of circular as well as the longitudinal muscle fibers but in somewhere in other parts of body radial muscle fibers are also seen okay so there are three types of muscles longitudinal circular as well as radial muscle fibers radial muscle fibers are mainly seen in collar and trunk got it so just below musculature there is also present dermis region and dermis is made up of connective tissue so this is how body wall is there which protect the internal organ it secrete mucus mucus help in forming the burrow and sensory cells of epidermis receive the external stimuli and muscular layer i told you which contain longitudinal circular and radial muscle fiber it also help in movement so body wall is somewhat unique having different layers which perform variety of functions after that we will talk about digestive system just like other animals it has an alimentary canal which is complete and straight you all know alimentary canal is a muscular tube and complete alimentary canal means it has two opening the mouth and anus i told you balenoglossus is a plankton feeder it feeds on planktons and organic debris okay जो फ्री फ्लोटिंग एनिमल्स होते हैं या प्लांट्स होते हैं फाइटो प्लैंगटन जू प्लैंगटन्स दे आर फूड ऑफ बलेनोग्लॉसिस मोर ओवर मड में जो ऑर्गेनिक डेब्रिस है उसको भी ये खाता है तो बलेनोग्लॉसिस लेट मी टेल यू इट्स अ 
filter feeder it has a complete elementary canal and elementary canal is covered by cilia all over its length if i say the parts aap dekh rahe hain kaun kaun se parts hain ye start hoga mouth se mouth ke baad buccal cavity hai pharynx hai esophagus intestine and anus so simple elementary canal the very first part is mouth i told you mouth is present just between collar and proboscis stalk it remains permanently open okay and this mouth opens into buccal cavity see buccal cavity a wide space it is present inside collar and very important thing roof of buccal cavity it has a projection a tube like diverticulum and this tube like diverticulum arising from roof of buccal cavity we are calling it stomochord very very important stomochord is a tubular diverticulum a blind sac jo ki buccal cavity ki roof se arise ho raha hai okay earlier it was thought ki stomochord is similar to notochord kuch log isko notochord samajhte the and that is why balenoglossus it was kept under phylum chordata lekin baad mein pata chala it's not a notochord rather it is simply an extension of buccal cavity and not a notochord like structure okay so buccal cavity is a wide space inside collar its roof has a blind sac a tubular diverticulum called as stomochord which was earlier thought as a notochord like structure ab dekhiye buccal cavity ke baad agla part hoga pharynx just you see pharynx is very important part it has two regions the upper region is branchial region and lower region is food chamber so branchial region or respiratory chamber is the upper part and lower part is food chamber both the parts are separated by a ridge called parabranchial ridge okay you can see over here the respiratory chamber or branchial region it contain gill slits in it it has u shaped gill slits or branchial aperture so this is the upper part jo respiration mein help karega lekin jo niche wala hissa hai jahan pe gill slits nahi hai that is called food chamber okay and this food chamber and respiratory chamber both are separated by a ridge called parabranchial ridge just you see just after food chamber there start a shoot short tube that called as esophagus esophagus is the point it is the tube where food particles are you know they are trapped by mucus and form a cord like structure and this cord of mucus along with the food particle enter in intestine so esophagus is another short tube where food particle and mucus are molded into a food cord and that food cord then enter into intestine then come intestine it is the longest part of elementary canal ab dekhiye iske do hisse hain anterior short region is hepatic region jahan hepatic ck aapko nazar aa rahe hain hepatic ck these are outgrowth present in the roof of intestine okay and this region is called hepatic region hepatic ck is also called liver sacs let me tell you this region jahan pe hepatic region hai it is the region where digestion of food occur then after hepatic region there occur post hepatic region it is simply a tube which contains cilia all over the body and here in the post hepatic region undigestible remains are converted into fecal matter and finally the last opening is anus intestine open to outside through anus and anus is helping in digestion and guarded by a sphincter muscle okay so elementary canal start with mouth then buccal cavity then pharynx with upper respiratory chamber lower food chamber then a short esophagus and then intestine with hepatic region and post hepatic region and finally the last opening is anus now after elementary canal the most interesting aspect of its system is feeding already i told you balenoglossus jo hai it's a filter feeder it feeds on you know planktons and debris present inside water so how does it help in feeding this is the view of burrow maine aapko bataya tha iski u shape burrow hai aap dekhiye iski burrow ki do openings hain ek front opening 
और एक हाइंड ओपनिंग हाइंड ओपनिंग इज कवर्ड बाय फीकल कास्टिंग फीकल कास्टिंग मीन्स फीकल मैटर से कवर है एंड जस्ट क्लोज टू फ्रंट ओपनिंग जहाँ पे इसका माउथ प्रेजेंट है बिल्कुल उसके पास आप देखो जस्ट ओवर इट इट इज़ रिटर्न फीडिंग फनल सो बलेनो ग्लॉस हैज़ अ फीडिंग फनल जस्ट क्लोज टू फ्रंट ओपनिंग ऑफ बरो एंड यू नो ड्यूरिंग इंजेक्शन या ड्यूरिंग फीडिंग दिस बलेनो ग्लॉस इट कम टू लाइन बरो इन सच अ पोजिशन सो दैट इट्स प्रोबोसिस कम जस्ट ऑपोजिट टू फीडिंग फनल ओके सो फीडिंग अकर इंजेक्शन अकर बाय द एक्शन ऑफ सीलिया मैं बार बार बता रही हूँ फूड में प्लैंगटन्स हैं ऑर्गेनिक डेबरीज हैं तो मैंने आपको बताया सीलिया पूरी बॉडी के ऊपर है इवन गिल्स के अंदर भी सीलिया होते हैं सो सीलिया ऑफ गिल्स दे सेटअप अ वाटर करंट रेस्पिरेटरी करंट एंड दैट वाटर करंट एंटर माउथ बक्कल कैविटी एंड फाइनली इन टू फैरिंग्स लेट मी टेल यू फ्राम द फैरिंग्स द फूड पार्टिकल्स दे एंटर ईसोफेगस अलॉन्ग विद म्यूकस आई टोल्ड यू इन ईसोफेगस फूड पार्टिकल्स स्टिक टू म्यूकस एंड फॉर्म अ कॉड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दैट मूव फॉरवर्ड यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम फूड पार्टिकल्स आर एंटरिंग थ्रू द माउथ यू नो आफ्टर दैट दे आर स्टिक टू दे आर मोल्डिड इन टू अ कॉड अलॉन्ग विद म्यूकस दिस कॉड पासिस थ्रू द बक्कल कैविटी देन थ्रू द फैरिंग्स एंड फाइनली टू ईसोफेगस वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग आस्पेक्ट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट ड्यूरिंग फीडिंग यू कैन सी हाउ डू वाटर करंट एंटर द फूड विच इज़ गोइंग टू बी इंजेस्टेड इट इज़ गोइंग टू एंटर माउथ थ्रू द वाटर करंट बट इफ फूड पार्टिकल्स आर नॉट सुटेबल इफ दे आर वेरी लार्ज इन साइज देन दोज पार्टिकल्स आर रिजेक्टेड एंड सी थ्रू एरोज रिजेक्टेड पार्टिकल्स देन मूव बैक ओवर द कॉलर and then to trunk region jo food particle iske mouth mein jayenge they will come from the proboscis region and enter mouth through the water current lekin agar food particles ka size bada hai usme koi unsuitable particles hai to usko ye reject kar dega and that testing of food particle is done by a special organ just close to mouth just you see i have encircled that there is a special organ called preoral ciliary organ ये जो प्री ओरल सीलरी ऑर्गन है इट विल टेस्ट द नेचर ऑफ वाटर एंड फूड पार्टिकल दैट एंटर द माउथ ओके एंड इफ फूड पार्टिकल्स आर टॉक्सिक दे आर नॉट सुटेबल तो ये उनको अंदर नहीं जाने देगा एंड दोज रिजेक्टेड पार्टिकल्स दे मूव बैक टू कॉलर एंड देन टू द ट्रंक रीजन दे विल नॉट एंटर माउथ बट अगर वो सुटेबल हैं सो थ्रू प्रोबोसिस दे एंटर विद वाटर करंट अलॉन्ग विद द म्यूकस एंड फाइनली गोज इन टू माउथ एंड देन इन टू पैरिंग्स एंड देन ईसुफेगस ओके सो फीडिंग इज समवर्ड स्पेशल याद रखना है प्री ओरल सीलरी ऑर्गन एक स्पेशल ऑर्गन है जो इनको फूड पार्टिकल्स की क्वालिटी को उनको टेस्ट करने में हेल्प करता है सो वी कैन से इट्स अ कीमो रिसेप्टर इट विल टेस्ट द केमिकल्स प्रेजेंट इन फूड पार्टिकल गॉट इट सो वेन फीडिंग अकर अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू फूड गोज टू फैरिंग्स बेसिकली टू फूड चेंबर देन कम टू ईसोफेगस वेर इट गेट you know molded into a cord with the help of mucus and then it comes to intestine in intestine there are hepatic ck hepatic ck release digestive enzymes and those enzymes carry out digestion of uh, ingestible food the food get digested in hepatic region of intestine then undigestible remains they finally mix with sand and silt they mix with sand and then come to post hepatic region and given out through anus as fecal castings so this is how elementary canal it carries out movement of food the food movement of food is very slow and done with the help of cilia present throughout the length of elementary canal okay so this is how somewhat in a unique way balanoglossus it feeds on plankton and organic debris okay so this is all about today's lecture we have done regarding habits habitat morphology silom and moreover digestive system of balenoglossus in my next lecture i'll send you another video for respiratory and for circulatory system you just revise the lecture and